Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create the headers and footers within the workbook before printing it, open the Page Setup dialog box by clicking the Page Setup dialog box button that appears in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group on the Page Layout tab within the ribbon. Then click the Header Footer tab within the dialog box. On the Header Footer tab you will see the header and footer for your current worksheet. You may use the header or footer drop-down boxes on this tab to select from some pre-made standard heading information, or you can click the custom header or custom footer buttons to create a custom header or footer into which you can type your own data. If you choose to create a custom header or custom footer, then the header or footer dialog box will appear. Here you can click into either the left section, center section, or right section text boxes and type your header or footer information into those spaces provided. Excel also provides you with multiple buttons that allow you to insert pre-created fields of information into your headers and footers. These buttons are Format Text, Insert Page Number, Insert Number of Pages, Insert Date, Insert Time, Insert File Path, Insert File Name, Insert Sheet Name, insert picture and format picture. Click any of these buttons to insert that type of information into the currently selected area in your custom header or footer. Note that you can also select text that you have typed into your custom header or footer and then click the format text button to modify the font or font size. You can also place images into the header and footer area. You can click the Insert Picture button and then use the Insert Picture dialog box that appears to select the image that you want to insert. You can then use the Format Picture button to edit the properties of the selected image. Once you have set the appearance of your custom header or custom footer in either the header or footer dialog boxes, just click the OK button to return to the Page Setup dialog box. Notice that there are four checkboxes at the bottom of the Header and Footer tab, Different Odd and Even Pages, Different First Page, Scale with Document, and Align with Page Margins. To print different header or footer information for odd and even pages, the first page, or both, Check either or both the different odd and even pages and or the different first page checkboxes as needed. Then click either the custom header or the custom footer button to open the header or footer dialog box. You then have two or three tabs depending upon your checkbox selections for each unique header or footer you need to create in your workbook. Click the tab of the custom header or footer you want to set before you add the desired header or footer content. Then create the content in the same way as you created a single custom header or footer. Once again, when finished, click the OK button to return to the header footer tab in the Page Setup dialog box. The last two checkboxes on this tab allow you to scale the headers and footer along with the worksheet content if needed and align the headers and footers with the page margins specified in the Margins tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.